Hi, this is Coffee County Mayor Judd Matheny, and you're watching The Mayor's Message. Hi, I'm Coffee County Mayor Judd Matheny, and welcome to this edition of the Mayor's Message. I have with us a good friend and great public servant uh, from here in Manchester, but he represents the County Commission on behalf of a large number of folks here in Manchester, Jimmy Hollinsworth. And uh, Commissioner Hollinsworth, tell us about yourself, uh, your background, and what made you want to get into public service. My name is Jimmy Hollinsworth. I'm a County Commissioner from District 1 here in Manchester. I've been on the commission for five years now. Enjoy every every minute, second of it. Uh, I actually wanted to get on it uh, um, in the beginning. I just wanted to get in, and be involved with uh, with the county, and just try to do things to help help people in Coffee County. So this is your second term. It is. And uh, Jimmy plays a, a very instrumental role helping us. Um, last year he served as the chairman pro tem, which is the guy that would back me up in, in meetings and things. Uh, he also serves on numerous committees here. Um, he's the chairman of uh, Health, Welfare, and Recreation. He's on purchasing. Uh, tell, tell us about your committees and your role that you play in those committees. Okay. I'm, um, I'm the chairperson of HWR, which is Health, Welfare, and Recreation. I'm chairperson of the purchasing committee, which is is to my surprise was a very active committee. Well, we're getting bigger and, and doing a lot now, uh, not only renovation but new stuff. So. That's right, and I'm chairperson on the EMA committee. So Emergency management agency. So. Three committees and two of the three are really busy. So, And at the HWR committee, they work uh, a lot with the ISO ratings of fire departments. Um, Tim Brown, uh, who has been, or excuse me, Tim Morris, who's been on this show previously, also serves on that committee. Uh, Jimmy's a firefighter by trade. Uh, full time with the city of Manchester, so he's got first hand experience in dealing with the volunteer fire departments and dealing with their acute needs. Uh, he's been a great advocate for them for equipment and uh, helping not only private dollars come in but also um, using our tax dollars the best way. He's also been instrumental in uh, if you've received a, a, a free fire alarm from these volunteer fire departments, Jimmy's uh, been one that's helped spearhead that. And we encourage you to go to your volunteer fire departments here in the rural areas and get a free smoke detector. Uh, they act, absolutely save lives. Um, also on HWR, um, Animal Control Facility, which is, is really starting to come together. Uh, Jimmy's helping me push that and, and helping us raise private dollars. Um, he was uh, instrumental in helping the county put $500,000 aside a couple years ago. So that's been great. Um, tell us about your... Um, firefighting passions and what drove you to that? Yeah, I've um, been in the fire service about 20 years now. Um, just kind of was always interested in it. And then, of course, when I had the chance to get on the commission while I was elected on the commission, I saw the opportunity to get on HWR, which dealt with the rural fire departments in the county. And I just, just over the, the course of the five years, as much as the county's grown and the service that's needed in the county for the fire departments, it just made me become more active with it and try to help, you know, push the agenda of the rural fire departments in the county. What what made you want to be a firefighter at first? Um, just, I don't know, I just always, I was always in the, an adrenaline guy, let's like yeah. adrenaline, it's, oh, it's man. just really adrenaline driven thing and uh, just, I don't know, it's just it's an interesting job. You just have to be kind of good at a little bit of everything. Yeah, so our, us adrenaline junkies, we want to be cops, we want to be firefighters, we want to do all these things. and um, it, It's it's great, but every now and then it's punctuated by moments of pure hell, too. That's exactly it, it right. It gets very scary and very tragic. Um, uh, also, he's helping us uh, with just some long-term strategic planning in this county. He serves on the Strategic Planning Committee, which just produced a major report for us. Um, they did a lot of the activity that our planning commission should have done, should have been doing, and I appreciate that, man. So you're doing a great job, and uh, it only not only deals with the need to update planning, zoning, growth areas, but utilities, schools, um, infrastructure for roads. It's a very comprehensive report. We'll be making that uh, totally public uh, sometime around the mid-November when we have a, a full briefing to the commission. And he's worked for a year and a half on that, done a great job. He's been the logical person to uh, be. The, chairman of the committees that he's on for his experience and in, in government and uh, firefighting and 
uh, we just really appreciate you serving, man. Appreciate also, also, I'm on Capital Outlay. I forgot to bring that. Yeah, Capital that's, Outlay, which has been a very busy community. Yeah, so, so, Jimmy's very busy up here, and, and uh, nearly every every decision we make, somehow or another, seems to is going to come across one of the committees that he's in almost. And um, so, do a great job, man. So thank you for all your help. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning into this edition of the Mayor's Message, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.